Hi, good afternoon and welcome to Women in Engineering. Um, thank you for joining us. Um, this week and today actually is quite an incredible uh, week for engineering. Um, it's tomorrow's Engineers Week and it's also This Is Engineering Day um, and they're marking their uh, campaign by hashtag Be The Difference. So um, not only do we go into lockdown again, sadly, tomorrow, I'm absolutely thrilled to be here today to speak to you all, um, all over the globe, uh, about inspiring you and the next generation to pursue a career in engineering. So it's amazing to be here in the Kelvin Lecture Theatre. This is home to the Institute of Engineering and Technology, the IET who are our partners and supporters in our endeavours to inspire and empower young women to pursue a career within engineering. So there are lots of empty seats here, and it is a bit weird presenting to an empty lecture theatre, um, but I'm sure once you listen to today's speakers, phenomenal speakers, the engagement from you at home will be just as loud as what it would be if you were here with us today. So we've got lots of awe inspiring speakers coming up for you. The afternoon is completely packed. So you'll see um, on the agenda behind me, um, it takes us up to a break at half time. Um, just a few points uh, before we move on about the event. So good to have a piece of um, paper and pen at hand. There's gonna be a lot of useful tips and advice coming through from our speakers today um, and also, keep hydrated and uh, engage with us. It's a, an interactive event, and we love your comments. We love your feedback. Even say hi. Um, and this is a good opportunity, actually, to introduce you to my colleague, Lindsay, who is going to be working the chat room. Um, Lindsay will also be putting out a few polls throughout the event today. Please take part in that. Um, it's really great to, to know your feedback and your thoughts on the questions that are being asked. So um, thank you also, actually, we do have um, three interactive Q&A sessions happening today. Um, thank you to all of those that have already put your questions in, that's amazing. Please keep them coming in. So a little bit about me. My name's Amanda Thompson. I'm the founder and MD of Campus Media. We're a youth marketing company. Um, we work with employers and brands to engage and reach students in a more interactive and engaging way. Um, me personally, I'm very passionate about diversity um, in employment. I've been working with young people and employers for 20 years now, which makes me sound very old. Um, and this is in an attempt to help change perceptions and stereotypes, which is something that we're going to talk about today. Um, and it's one of the main reasons why we're here, actually. So women, especially women from ethnic minorities, are massively underrepresented within the engineering sector. Lots of different reasons why. Um, the main ones are the lack of role models, um, outdated stereotypes. So that's what we're doing today. There's lots of um, events taking place this week and actually throughout the, the whole calendar actually to engage with young people more and open their minds and educate them into the different opportunities that are available within the engineering sector. So behind me is uh, a pretty uh, disappointing figure. So women represent 12% of the engineering workforce in the UK. So it's higher than what it was. And we've had some small wins. So we've reached the million women working in STEM. And government and employers will be working hard now to reach a 30% balance by 2030 of women working in core STEM roles. One of those organisations that's striving for equality and diversity is the IET, our partners uh, for today's event. Um, they work tirelessly as well in 
working with STEM ambassadors to provide amazing role models to inspire the next generation. And I'm thrilled to have uh, some amazing speakers here today uh, that are doing just that. So the main point of the role models, I guess, is the majority of you here tuning in today are at university, you're studying a degree, degree already, maybe a master's, you may have already graduated, and you may be thinking, what's next? Um, what we need to do is challenge perceptions much younger in schools. Um, girls and women make up just 7.4% of all engineering apprentices. Um, so again, this is due to stereotypes, um, very outdated stereotypes, and it's working with schools and colleges now to change those. But I wanted to end on uh, a bit more of a positive. So 80% of female students get their first, get a first or a first upper second class degree, which is higher than other students studying other degrees. Uh, of, sorry, it's higher than their male counterparts on their degree as well. So women are achieving higher grades. There's a huge misconception that engineering degrees are too challenging, um, they're too tough, and that's one of the fear factors that puts off a lot of women entering the industry. So this is a really uh, lovely thing to be able to report on. Um, and then also 60% of female engineering graduates actually secure a, a full-time job on graduating, which is higher in percentage than other women from different degrees. So again, really encouraging that those women that are studying engineering degrees are securing full-time jobs in a higher percentage than uh, other degree disciplines. So we talked about stereotypes and role models. Um, it's a, I'm going to, to show you, play you a video from the IET now. And it's part of the I Am An Engineer um, campaign that they started running last year. It's a short video, it's a very positive step forward in promoting real engineers from all kinds of backgrounds and it illustrates perfectly just how diverse and inclusive the engineering profession really is. It's designed to alter outdated stereotypes, um, suggesting that it, it, engineering is not just for middle-aged white men um, and it, I think it is a really positive step forward to to move into uh, after seeing this. So I'm just gonna say I am an engineer. I create new ideas with knowledge and ambition. But let me draw your attention to something hidden in the backdrop of our humble existence. You see, it's simple. Without my mind or her hands or their eyes, cleaner seas and better lives are just a dream in the distance. Nah, I need you to listen. I am not black or white or male or female. I am me. I am different. Different in ways you couldn't possibly imagine. But now imagine that there was no gender, no ages, no religion or races. Will we still define all people by their faces? So let's face it. When we're in it together, it leads to greatness. It leads to world changes. It defies the impossible and leaves us elated. So join me. Lift your head from the floor. Let's open these doors to new shores and make this world much greater than before. Because yes, I am an engineer. But I am so much more.